Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am the Poverty Princess. Today's DIY is very easy, very pretty, and I want to give a shout out to Diana Grable, one of my subs who originally gave me the idea for this DIY when she suggested to me to take a picture of that beautiful flower bouquet that I won several weeks ago. And she had said you could use it in a DIY. So I did, in fact, take a picture and print it up. Um, and about, I want to say, two weeks afterwards, I happened to be on YouTube and I watched a video about pressing flowers. So I put two and two together and this DIY is about pressing flowers and incorporating it into a really pretty home decor item that is inexpensive and will last you years. Let's get into it. So for this DIY, you will need five eight by 10 picture frames. Um, this one is going to be the one that I'm going to use for my flower photograph. And then I have four other ones that I got from Dollar Tree. So these are the four 8x10s that I got from Dollar Tree. And as I said, I'll just be using the glass from these, but not the frames. And then this one is going to be for my picture. But first, I'm going to give this a quick coat of paint. And I'm going to use my metallic spray paint, Mirigel, and uh, give this, you know, a little bit of, I don't know, shine to it. Because I have an idea. I really want to make this sparkle. So it started drizzling, but I have this under here, so I think it should be okay is warm and I'm just going to do uh, move the paper over a little bit just going to do a quick coat I mean, it is already a gold colored, but a gold with like a black uh, hue to it. But I wanted to just give this a little bit of a, I don't know, I guess you could say like a more luxe sort of look to it. And just gonna let that dry. You got some on the back. On to the next step. Now, while the uh, frame is drying from the sealer, I decided to show you how I did my flower pressing. That is just some of them. I have three different sets actually um, going on. But traditionally, pressing flowers is done in books. However, what usually happens when you put flowers in a book to press them flat? You forget about them. At least that's what always happened with me. And then I'd come back to it maybe a month later with a moldy, um, disgusting mess. So I decided to not use a book. I just used several sheets of lined notebook paper. And these have actually been drying out for about a week and a half, to be honest. Um, yeah, so that's one set. Now see, two pages were fine, but the third set... That one, I don't know. It is quite possible 
when it rained last week, um, water may have come in and dripped on it because it was moldy. So the third set I'm going to throw away, but there's enough here for um, two. I can make two displays with. So I'm going to be bringing these in and separating which ones I actually want to put in glass. So I'll be using all four glass, glass from the frames. So I'm just going to one by one open each of these things up. carefully set the glass aside and repeat this for all four frames. You will want to clean two of the glass pieces. These are the two that you're going to be placing your flowers on. Don't worry about fingerprints in the back of the glass. You just want to have this top surface cleaned for the moment. And now you're going to figure out how you want to place your flowers and where you want to place your flowers. Now I had some of these real pretty purple flowers and I also had many of these yellow flowers as well. You guys remember what my bouquet looked like. So I want to kind of incorporate one of each color if I can. I have some of these very pretty pinks that were in there too. And more or less, um, just kind of get like that little pop of color in. Now, I did have uh, roses in a bouquet. They were hard to press. They were like just, I don't know, bulky. So I decided not to um, put them under glass. It would be just at least a little bit harder with them. 
So I have them dried and I'm going to be doing potpourri with them, which is another video, guys, down the road. Again, I have another one of these pretty pink flowers. And out of all the flowers that you press, in the end, you're only going to pick probably two or maybe three that really, really look, you know, the nicest you think. So you want to apply a quick um, but I want to say reasonably uh, thick coat of E6000 and just quickly quickly go around the whole frame Now, normally this needs to take um, at least 12 hours to dry, but for video purposes, I am going to be uh, like brushing it a little bit and then line up your ends so they completely completely cover the E6000. Alright, I had to take this flower out because this part here of the stem um, just wasn't laying flush enough with the frames. So unfortunately I had to take that out. Now what I'm doing right now is just pressing on the glass. Not too too hard obviously but enough um, to get the E6000 to hold in place. So I'm going to set something on top of this one corner for a few minutes at least until this starts to set a little bit and now I'm going to work on this one same principle so I removed the little middle clips from the back of this frame and yes, the E6000 is drying in here, but as I said, for video purposes, I am going to uh, speed the process up here a little bit and um, just going to attach some hot glue here, going all the way around the glass. Then I'll let this dry for a few minutes. Um, again, putting a little bit of weight on the glass, not too much, but just enough so the hot glue will set. So these are pretty much, they're done. Um, I just have to wipe the glass off good. So I'm going to put these aside because these are finished 
And now I'm going to finish working up on this. I have my color photo I printed up of my flower bouquet. And that's going to be the last step, putting it in the frame. But first, I have a little bit more decorating to do um, with this frame. So I'm going to... Let me adjust my tripod here a moment. Okay. I found this in with some of my craft items. And I hadn't used it. I thought that this would actually look nice glued on here and I'm also going to attach this pretty gold butterfly this is from Dollar Tree as well and I bought this when I was working on my 7th Avenue mirror dupe and I bought the butterfly stickers well I bought this too wasn't sure what I needed for but I figured I could use it at some point so, let me figure out here where I'm going to um, hot glue this. And, um, and I'm almost done, guys. Almost done. So, I'm not sure if I want to do it on the left side or my right side. And I don't know, something is telling me left. So I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue. onto these middle stems here. Dry. I am just going to take this out. Now this is so pretty. So pretty. And I'm trying to figure out um, where I want to actually put this. Not sure if I want to put it on top of this or if I want to attach it over here. I'm actually thinking I'm going to attach it on the other side. Like Yeah, I'm going to attach it on the other side, so, again, some hot glue. I'm 
just going to let that dry for a few minutes. So that is looking really pretty so far. And now I'm just going to finish up here. And I said this is the color photo of my bouquet. And I'm just going to put that into my frame. And that looks so pretty. So, let me put this up on the wall. It's late. Um, I don't have command strips to put this up in my parlor yet anyway. But I'm going to hang it up here in the kitchen quickly just to show you guys how pretty it does look. Hung up. And that, my friends, is the finished result. This is my spring, easy spring home decor, pressed flower DIY. And once again, I want to thank Diana, who said that I should print a picture up of my bouquet and use it in a DIY. Well, Diana, I hope you enjoyed this DIY because I took that idea and I ran with it. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit my subscribe button. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and helping my channel grow. Take care. Good night. And I will see you all on the next one. Oh, before I forget, this idea can also be used not just with pressed uh, flowers, but you could also do um, a display with, for example, say, keepsakes from an anniversary or birthday, Valentine's Day, maybe press a rosebud, have a card in between glass along with a flower or maybe you know you go see a band you want to hear have you know ticket stubs um, maybe a restaurant menu and you could even use several um, 11 by 14 frames and same principle you know just put thin items in like press a flower Maybe a card, ticket stubs, a picture. Um, would really make a cute way to display some, you know, personal uh, mementos as well. Doesn't have to be, you know, just pressed flowers. But definitely pressed flowers do look really, really pretty. And uh, I imagine that if you just want to do like a solitary flower, um, small 4x6 or 5x7, um, frames and that would look really really pretty with that well I just wanted to interject that guys take care good night bye